It's invisible. It's untouchable. It doesn't shine or glow or cast a shadow. And yet, it outweighs everything we can see in the universe by a factor of five. Scientists call it dark matter, a substance so strange it sounds more like science fiction than science. But make no mistake, it's real. It bends starlight, it shapes galaxies, and it may hold the key to the fate of the cosmos itself. But here's the kicker. We have no idea what it actually is. Today on Infinite Mind, we're diving into one of the most tantalizing mysteries in modern science. What is dark matter and why haven't we found it yet? Let's start with the basics. Dark matter is the name we give to the unknown stuff in the universe that doesn't emit or reflect light. In fact, it doesn't seem to interact with electromagnetic radiation at all. So why do we think it exists? Because the universe is misbehaving. In the 1970s, astrophysicist Vera Rubin made a startling observation. When she measured the rotation speeds of stars in galaxies, she found something off. Stars far from the galactic center weren't slowing down, like Newton's laws predicted. They were spinning just as fast as stars closer in. According to everything we knew, those galaxies should be flying apart, but they weren't. That led scientists to a bold conclusion. There must be extra mass holding them together, mass we can't see. That unseen glue, we call it dark matter. Vera Rubin's galaxies were just the beginning. Over the years, scientists have found other clues. First, gravitational lensing. When light from a distant galaxy travels past another galaxy on its way to Earth, it gets bent, distorted by gravity. But sometimes the light bends more than the visible matter alone can explain. Something invisible is pulling on it. That something? You guessed it, dark matter. Second, the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB. This is the afterglow of the Big Bang, the oldest light in the universe. It's not just pretty noise. The tiny fluctuations in the CMB reveal how matter was distributed just a few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang. By analyzing this pattern, scientists can actually estimate how much of the universe is made of regular matter, and how much is something else. And spoiler alert, most of it is something else. Finally, we have galaxy formation itself. Computer models show that galaxies simply wouldn't form the way they do without a hidden mass scaffolding. So, if dark matter is invisible, silent, and doesn't crash into things, what is it made of? This is where it gets weird. One leading theory suggests dark matter is made of particles called WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles. They'd be heavy, like protons, but wouldn't interact with light or other matter except through gravity. Sounds perfect, right? There's just one problem. We've never found one. Despite decades of hunting in underground labs, inside mountains, and with particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider, the wimps are playing hard to get. Another candidate? Axions tiny, lightweight particles that could have been produced in the early universe by the trillions. They'd be so subtle that they slip right through us without a trace. Some scientists look to MACOs, massive compact halo objects, like black holes, neutron stars, or brown dwarfs. Real objects that don't give off much light, but they don't account for enough mass to solve the mystery. A newer idea, sterile neutrinos, a hypothetical cousin of the neutrino that doesn't even interact via the weak nuclear force. Each theory is a shot in the dark, but every null result, every failed experiment, still teaches us something. We're slowly eliminating the impossible, hoping what remains will reveal the truth. Around the world, and even in space, the hunt for dark matter is one of the most ambitious quests in science. Deep underground in Italy, the Xenon 1T detector waits in silence, looking for the tiniest flicker of interaction between a dark matter particle and xenon atoms. In South Dakota, 
The LX Zeppelin experiment is doing the same, sitting beneath a mile of rock to block out cosmic rays and static noise. On the surface, scientists at CERN smash protons together at near light speed, hoping that dark matter will emerge from the debris like a cosmic magician's trick. So far, nothing. But that's not failure, it's refinement. Every non-detection tightens the net, and perhaps, just perhaps, dark matter isn't a particle at all. Here's where things get even more mind-bending. What if dark matter doesn't exist? Some physicists have proposed that instead of adding new matter to explain the universe's behavior, maybe we need to rewrite gravity itself. Enter theories like MOND, Modified Newtonian Dynamics, which tweak how gravity works on very large scales. Or more radically, the idea that we live inside a simulation where the laws are only consistent from our perspective. Of course, these ideas are controversial, and they don't explain everything dark matter does. But they remind us of something important. Sometimes the most dangerous phrase in science is, we already understand this. So what do we know about dark matter? A lot, and yet, almost nothing. We know it's there. We see its fingerprints across the universe. But the identity of this cosmic phantom remains one of the deepest mysteries of our time. And maybe that's the point. Maybe it's not just about discovering what dark matter is. Maybe it's about stretching the boundaries of what we can know. As we peer deeper into the cosmos, past the veil of light and matter, we might just find that the answers we seek were hiding in the shadows all along.